Hey, what's going on? My name is Jeremy Watson. Thank you for checking out my Fiverr gig. Now, my name is Jeremy Watson. I run a website called Response Guy where I help uh, small business owners and internet marketers build a better, better business online. Uh, what this gig is that you're looking at is actually three landing page templates uh, that you can easily edit and put up and actually start selling your own products, goods, or services, whatever it may be. Uh, what we're looking at right now is one of the page templates that you're going to get. This is what I call the free plus shipping page template. This page template is good for selling a free plus shipping product or a physical product, but you don't have to use it for that. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually edit this type of uh, page. So once you get the templates, once you order the gig, I'm going to send you the templates. The templates are going to be in a zip file and you just simply unzip the files and you can upload those to your hosting. What you'll see is there's going to be uh, four different files in here. You're going to have the index file, the JavaScript with JS, the images, and the CSS. So all these files basically work together to build your landing page. If you haven't ever messed with websites or HTML or anything like that, don't worry. This is pretty easy once I show you how. So what I use to edit these pages is a program called Composer. It's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. It's actually free. It's a website editor. What you're going to do when uh, you get the templates, you want to edit the templates first before you upload them to your website. So what you do is you open up Composer and you press File and you go to Open File. And the file that you'll want to open is the index file for the template. Now what I recommend before you start editing all of these files and stuff like that is have all the original files saved somewhere. All the zip files that you get saved somewhere just in case you mess up or you want to use the templates again. Uh, you can come back to it, just unzip it again and use those new files. Just keep those safe uh, where you have original files that you don't edit. So you double click on this and it'll actually open up uh, the web page in your composer editor. And really it's as simple as just clicking and say, you know, buy my stuff, get or get this for free. And then you can delete this stuff. And then uh, you can edit basically anything on this web page. So for the images and stuff like that, if you have images hosted somewhere, you can actually double click on these or go up here to the link and you can actually see where these images are or and then you can actually put in like a image location. So if you have your images hosted on, let's say, your website or uh, domain or something like that, you can actually just put the image right here, the image link URL right here, or there's a way to put it into the folder and put it onto the website. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to save that. This is a video. Now the video will probably be the most difficult part of editing this and it's really not that difficult. When you're using Composer, what you can do is there is a source button at the bottom. What the source button does is it shows you the source code for this. All this is is basically just the coding that makes up the site. Uh, you don't have to really worry about any of this because I made it pretty simple. There's going to be things in here that you see that you can edit, like your page title. So it says right here, uh, your page title that will show up on Facebook. So if you're giving away, let's say, a free dog collar or something like that, um, you could type in whatever you really want that to say, like free dog collar, um, you know, just pay shipping or whatever. And then you have your page description, and it's the same thing for that. Now, when it comes to your YouTube video, I made it really, really simple for you to edit this YouTube video. So what you do is you go to source and you'll scroll down and you'll actually see the YouTube URL embed. So it's right here and I'll say YouTube embed and then I'll have like a little code. This little code right here is actually your video code and you get that video code by going to YouTube. So let's just say we're at YouTube right now. This is another video of mine and we just copy this last video ID uh, number. So it's a bunch of numbers and letters and you just basically copy that, go back to Composer and you just simply paste it in there. So what will happen is after you do that, you can save it and then 
once you're done saving everything and editing to your liking so you can go in here and change your button so you can click on let's say this is the button right here you click on order now you can change the link it'll say your buy link you can change this to google let's say google google.com click ok and then we'll save this so what will happen is it will save all the files all the changes to your index file and then you can preview that by double clicking it and you can see that hey what's going on jeremy here's the new video it says buy my stuff get this for free and then we can have the order now button and if we click on it it should go to google.com like we changed it so it's pretty simple from there all you do is once you're done you can upload these files to your website hosting and once you do that you can simply just go to your website domain name or your website extension and you'll have your files there um, on the online where you can easily see it so it'll be ready for you to send traffic to so that's how easy this is to edit I, I made it as easy as possible if you have any questions simply just message me through Fiverr I'm more than happy to help I have uh, extra gigs that you can check out that will uh, where I'll screen share and walk you through editing the files and get them up on your site or I can actually edit the files for you and put them up on your web hosting and stuff as well so uh, if you have any questions feel free to contact me uh, watch this video again if you've already bought the gig and you're trying to figure out how to edit it um, and I'm here to help just message me or uh, reach out to me I'll talk to you later this is Jeremy from responseguy.com